Good morning and welcome to St. Luke's Oratory here in Beckington. On this day we've all been waiting for Christmas Day, symbolised in the Advent wreaths here with the lighting of the fifth remaining candle in the centre, the white one, representing the coming of Christ amongst us. Behold, I bring you news of great joy, news for all the people. Today a Saviour has been born to you. Words uh, spoken by the angels to the shepherds on Christmas morning. Welcome uh, to this Mass which commemorates uh, the birth into the world of our Saviour. Wherever you are, you're very welcome. And uh, I'm very grateful you've been able to use the link between you and me. We offer this Mass together, listen to what the Lord has to say to us in the readings, and it becomes part of our act of worship, which we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Of course, we are celebrating a momentous event, the most momentous in the history of the world, which has inspired spiritual renewal and gratitude, magnificent carols, the giving and receiving of gifts, offering of good wishes, the gathering of families, which are sadly uh, restricted by the curtailment of the epidemic. Nonetheless, this morning we are celebrating uh, the coming of our Saviour amongst us. Some of the best things in life are free, including Christmas, and uh, it becomes something very precious to us if we make it an opportunity to renew and strengthen friendship and love. And so, we place ourselves now in our Lord's presence and ask forgiveness for our human failings. Lord Jesus, by coming amongst us, you reveal the Father's unconditional love for us, and you help us to respond to this love. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, on this bright day, you reveal the mystery of our dignity as your spiritual children. Help us to live up to this dignity. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, on this bright day, you reveal to us our eternal destiny, and you help us to attain it. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, pardon our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden us year by year, as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our Judge who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet Isaiah. About Zion I will not be silent, about Jerusalem I will not grow weary, until her integrity shines out like the dawn, and her salvation flames like a torch. The nations then will see your integrity, all the kings your glory, 
and you will be called by a new name, one which the mouth of the Lord will, will, will confer. You are to be a crown of splendour in the hand of the Lord, a princely diadem in the hand of your God. No longer are you to be named forsaken, nor your land abandoned. But you shall be called my delight, and your land the wedded. For the Lord takes delight in you, and your land will have its wedding. Like a young man marrying a virgin, so will the one who built you wed you. And as the bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so will your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will make a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your thrones through all ages. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Happy the people who acclaim such a king, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, and who find joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always, for him my covenant shall endure. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Tomorrow there will be an end to the sin of the world and the saviour of the world will be our king. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honour and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. Having made up his mind to do this, when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfil the words spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home, and though he had not had intercourse with her, she gave birth to a son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, at Christmas, attention is focused on the birth of Jesus, the Son of God, in a Bethlehem cave. We are amazed and surprised that God should come to us as a helpless and dependent child of poor parents who are far from home and soon to become refugees in Egypt, where they had to remain for three years. By choosing to be born in the desolation of Bethlehem, away from palaces and cities, he was giving a clear message that grace and goodness are to be found in the poorest of people and places. The first to share the joy of Mary and Joseph in their humble surroundings were the shepherds guarding their flocks by night, we're told. Their presence was an assurance that God was available to ordinary people carrying out their normal daily work. What's more, 
He was going to be on the side of the weak and the disadvantaged. Our celebration today is more than a remembrance of events in Bethlehem on a starry night 2,000 years ago. It is a reminder that God loved us so much that he came down amongst us in the person of Jesus Christ, his Son, to put a new vision before us, a new way that would lead eventually to heaven. The infant Jesus brought great blessings to us, blessings which would soften even the hardest hearts and dissolve the deepest grudges. Jesus elevated the dignity of humankind by becoming one of us. The consequences of this are enormous, particularly for us as followers of Christ. It means that we have got to respect and revere and show reverence towards human life. To neglect the old, to despise the poor, to be indifferent to the unemployed, the homeless, the refugees, the bereaved, is to ignore those individuals with whom Jesus was so closely identified. Jesus came amongst us bringing and offering peace, proclaimed by the angels at Bethlehem, glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. This is the chant of the angels. The sight of the crib gives us all a yearning for peace. May this peace extend throughout the year in our families, in our communities, and wherever there is strife in the world. For our part, we pray for peace and wherever we have influence, we try to bring about peace and reconciliation. If we try to be peacemakers, then we shall ourselves experience the inner peace of people who enjoy God's favour. We make our common affirmation of faith now as we recite together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the Faithful Loving Lord, we stand before you as people of hope, trusting in your care and protection. May your faithful love support us and soothe the anxiety of our hearts. Generous God, fill us with compassion and concern for others, young and old. Bring healing to those who are sick with the virus. And be there for their families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May those who have died rest in your eternal embrace. We remember particularly those who have died around the Christmas season and can no longer share our table. We recall Mike Ayland, Stephanie Lane, Tim Davis, Jill Evans, and there's so many others. Comfort their families and their friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We place ourselves in your protection, O Lord. May the mantle of your peace enfold us this day and tomorrow. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mingling of the water and the wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, O Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquities, O Lord, and cleanse me from my sins. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Eucharistic Prayer 2 As we look forward, O Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly, for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him, God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of all things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, and then he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, Together, Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember Mike Ayland, 
and our departed brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you will live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. By his name, may the body and blood of Christ preserve my soul to that everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Union Antiphon, the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all flesh will see the salvation of our God. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may draw new vigour from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Well, it only remains for me to wish you um, a blessed, happy, holy uh, Christmas you and yours, and uh, a Happy New Year. I shall celebrate the next video type uh, Mass uh, <coughs> on Sunday week, that's the 3rd of January. I'd just like to say thank you to Chris Bennett who uploads this video every week onto the internet. Very grateful to him now. Well, God bless you all. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>